how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, GSM model, and or your CDMA model. Please be aware that this tutorial only works with iOS 7.0 through iOS 7.0.4. Also, please do be aware that if you do not know how to put your iDevice into DFU mode, then this is not the tutorial for you. One last note is that we are not responsible for anything that happens to you or your device while anything goes on within this progress. And if anything does happen, well, I don't understand why anything should. So why don't we get right in and let's get started. Let's begin, let's download the RageBake program via the RageBake website at RageMaster.com. I would like to say thank you to Team Sync and the RageMaster team for making this video possible because, well, if they didn't make this awesome tool, well, this I wouldn't be making this video. So once you have the uh, program downloaded, which you just click this link right here, simply just save it to your desktop, and once you do that, right click properties, and if you are on Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, be sure to hit an unlock button that is right here. If you do not, you will not be able to run the program, but if you do, just simply click that. Once you do that, you're all ready to go, so let's open the program up and get to jailbreaking. Alrighty, once you have everything downloaded and ready to go, be sure to right click and run as administrator just to make sure that everything will install smoothly and go as well as it possibly can. So to start off, what you want to do is actually click download files. Now I've already done this, so I won't need to, but what you want to do is you want to click on that and then you'll get another pop-up saying hit OK and once you do that, it'll download the files, you see the progress bar fill up and once it's completely full simply just click the jailbreak button we're going to do that now because well once your device is in DFU mode it should be that easy so nothing will start until you click OK which we have just completely done right there now once you have clicked OK what's going to do is actually extract the downloaded files into the C jailbreak folder so why don't we just do that as well and now what we'll do is, considering that I already have these files downloaded, I'm going to click No. No to all. Now what this is doing now, as you can see with the SSH tool, it's actually going to simply sort of root your iPhone 4 in a way that it lets you access the root file system without uh, any difficulties. Um, this is due to the LimeRain exploit that uh, you guys can look more on. And unfortunately, I can't actually show you what my screen is doing. But uh, once this is complete, we will get back to you guys right after that. Alrighty, so once you see the success, connect to localhost on port 2022 with your favorite SSH client. That means you can easily just click OK on the RageBake program. So once it's hit OK, I believe next it'll all pretty much do its own thing and we're just going to see transfi transferring files to device. Now this will not actually transfer the files to the device unless you hit OK. So once you do that, all you have to do is hit mounting file system and you will see this. Once um, This may take a while, I'm pretty sure considering that it's going to, oh OK. Well um, that was very quickly surprising. but. Um, Done, please put your phone in DFU mode and hit the boot option that corresponds with your device. So we're going to hit OK and we are, can actually, I believe, close out the SSH tool and simply put our device into DFU mode once again. So I'm going to put it into DFU mode and I'll see you guys right after that. Alrighty, so once your device is in to DFU mode, simply be sure to know a, either if your iPhone 4 is a CDMA model, which is Verizon, or GSM model, which is AT&T. So once you know that, um, a GSM is 3,1 and CDMA 3,3. Now my phone is on 7.0.4, so that's how we're going to boot it with the iPhone 3,1. So, device in DFU mode, please. And there we go. So now this is going to um, do the whole exploit process, and this may take a few seconds, but we will stick it through. Hopefully it won't take too long. If it is taking too long, well, simply I'll speed up the process just a tad bit, and you guys will basically only be hearing my squeaky little voice. So we're waiting 10 seconds for the device to pop up, 2 seconds for the device to pop up, and now we have a white screen on the device and it's sort of the white screen with the white Apple logo 
looks actually kind of cool and we're downloading images and I don't even know what half this stuff means to be completely honest with you guys I'm just reading to you guys what it says so uh, don't give me any credit for that so now on the device is actually showing the verbose boot, boot screen with I'm pretty sure it's the injection of the exploit so once it's booted we are going to just wait a few seconds and I'll see you guys then Alrighty, so once your device is booted up and connected to your local Wi-Fi network, all you have to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings and go to your IP address and click Install Cydia. Now what you want to do is you want to take your IP address and type it in. Mine is 192.168.0.105. Let's see if this is going to work. Ah, there we go. So what it's doing is it's actually SSHing into the device and what we're going to do is just hit yes store key and cache yes so now what this will be doing is transferring tons of files onto the device and this may actually take a while as it is a lot of files so I will most likely be sp speeding this process up because well I kinda have to I mean we're gonna speed it up right about now all right so once your device uh, and the CMD thing is actually complete your device will turn itself off okay and now all I have to do is once more put it into DFU mode and boot up once again so we're just gonna press any key to continue put it into DFU mode and boot this puppy up and you should be complete from there so let's go ahead and do that and here we go once again booting with this awesome program uh, so once again guys I couldn't thank the uh, rage break and the team sync team enough you know they both have put so much time into making this program and fixing all the problems it's previously had and it's honestly it's working great now and I hope it really has been helpful for you guys and actual for developers that are trying to make their tweaks compatible with iOS 7. So guys, um, from here it should be pretty complete. Um, I think once we boot up and make sure that the device is jailbroken properly and Sidious turns on, we can easily have some fun. Right about now, the, my phone is actually doing the uh, exploit verbose boot once again and once we are complete with this and we the device boots itself up we shall see if the install process has completed now I will be including some screenshots in the description of the device itself with Cydia installed as well as some other things um, I really hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it even though it was a little difficult you know I messed up a lot uh, recording had a record a bunch of different times but that is a okay so right now about now my phone is actually just vibrated it's telling me that it has turned on and right about now it should be at the lock screen and there we are slide to unlock so I'm going to swipe the page and boom Cydia is installed and guys thank you for watching I hope to see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one